Hello guys, today let's create a ray material and apply it in Niagara. We can use this material to create various effects like energy pies and light beam. Here we are using light beam as a tutorial as we will be using it in later videos. Ok, first let's create a material. Blend mode translucent and lit and two sided. Then we need a noise texture to create gaps between light beam. The texture provided by the engine. Then we need a text card and connect it. The weight tiling we set it to zero. Okay, now we can use it to create gaps between light beam. But first we need to add some parameter controls to it to make it look better. So let's add a multiply to control its tiling. Append vector. We don't need V tiling, so B is zero. And A we can use a dynamic parameter. Okay, we rename it to tiling. And connect it. We also need an offset for the texture. So another parameter to control it. Rename it to random offside and just connect it. Then let's add a dissolved effect for the texture. It has been made many times, so let's fast forward here. We also use a parameter to control the intensity of the dissolved. Ok, now let's create a light beams mask. It's very simple, we just need a text card. First, mask G channel and add 1 minus. Take the mean. Ok, two ends have already been masked. Then we need a smooth type to control the ends intensity. Max is 0.1. Ok, that's it. Then we power the mask G channel. And multiply the power and smooth type. This is our mask in V vertical. Then we also need a mask in U horizontal. Add a text card, this time we need mask R channel. Take it sign. Oh yes, here we need change U tiling to 0.5 because we only need half period, 0 to 1 to 0. Ok, power the sign. And then let's copy the mask. This time we need mask G channel and multiply them. Finally, multiply U and V mask. Ok, this is our opacity. Then multiply the mask by the texture. And we need a particle color. We also need multiply R channel by the mask. And then add depth fade, connect it to opacity. Now we can use Drive HDR from LDR to make the emissive color brighter. LDR input is the mask. HDR tint is particle color multiply the mask. Connect it to emissive color. Ok, we finished the material. Now let's create a Niagara system. Rename it to Ray and we use the material we created. Ok, we need a spawn burst in emitter update. Spawn count is 20. Ok, we can see the material. Now we need to change it left time to random. Mean is 0.1, max is 0.2. We can also change system's loop duration, set it to 1, that makes it easier for us to change the effect. Then let's change it color, maybe a blue, 
0 0.11100. Okay, also we need a random spirit size 200 to 300. Then let's add shape location. We need a cylinder. Height and radius are both 1. Also, we need particles bound on the surface. Okay, then we need to add velocity from point. The speed is 1 because we don't really need this speed, just use it to control the direction of particles. Okay, change the particles alignment. Velocity. Okay, we also need to change velocity origin. The offset we need z axis is negative 50. Okay, that's right. Particle will always face the z axis. Then we need to scale spirit size in particle update. Then uniform and make vector 2D. X, we can use a curve 0 to 1. And Y, we also use a curve, but this time the scale curve is 2. Okay, now we can see its scaling is based on the center point, but we need it to scale upwards. So we need to change the default pivot in UV space the way we need to change it to 1. Yeah, that's right. And here we can add a key data. When key data is 0 0.5, the value is 0 0.8. Now let's check it in the level. Okay, now let's add a scale color in particle update. Vector from float. We also use a curve. 0 to 1 to 0 and scale curve is 100 yeah it's brighter scale alpha is same 0 to 1 to 0 finally we need a dynamic material parameter tiling is 1 random offset we can use a random range 0 to 1 and the desert is 0 0.3 Oh, it looks like fire. We can change it to 0 0.1. The tiling, we can also change it to 5. Okay, now it looks like a light beam. Of course, we can change these values according to our own needs. For example, if we want to create an energy path, we can set all of these parameters to random values. Particle size also needs to be larger and longer. Okay, that's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.